The NBA took tiny steps towards a return to normalcy as a small number of practice facilities reopened for walkouts and at least one team received permission from the league to test players and staff for the coronavirus. Meanwhile, the NBA Commissioner Adam Silver took part in the teleconference with members of the National Basketball Players Association and Silver told players that the league is still aiming to hold full best of seven playoff series should the season resume and that playing without fans is an obvious possibility. But we have Ayotun Day Onobolu joining us all the way from the United States of America. Good to have you with us. Thank you very much for having me, Udoka. Good morning. But have you been holding up? Let, let's talk about the coronavirus and uh, the whole outbreak in America. Um, you know, um, it's been a crazy last few weeks here in the United States because um, the government, on one hand, is asking people to be safe. But on the other hand, a lot of money is being lost in the economy because activities are not going on as normal. And so uh, states have started to reopen. Some states are still observing the shutdown. But a few states like the state I live in, Texas, they've begun to reopen gradually in bits and in pieces. So businesses are opening again. Um, cinemas are opening again. Um, you can start doing stuff where you still have to have your mask on. Um, in certain places, you still have to maintain social distancing. Um, churches are opening. Um, services are going on. And uh, it's uh, generated a lot of mixed reactions because people are saying if there is no... Um, um, cure for the virus yet uh, why are we in a rush to restart the economy we know a lot of money is lost but which would you rather lose money or the lives of the citizens for which the money is supposed to take care of yeah. You understand? That's the battle going on. And so in the sports arena, um, fans are saying they're missing the sports they love, you know, um, um, basketball, American football, baseball, hockey, soccer, and all of that. So the debate right now is how do we draw the line between having to make money and keeping the fans happy as they stay at home and putting the lives of players and every other um, person who will be involved in getting these things, um, these games together, are putting their lives at risk. As long as those questions remain on the table, there's going to be a lot of arguments, there's going to be some form of standstill, and we just have to keep our fingers crossed and um, see exactly how things pan out. Very true. Now, talking about the sports, I saw a video where um, President Donald Trump said that he loves food, he loves sports and he would love to have sports back on the screen. Now, let's go straight to the NBA. Um, we've not heard any news on a possible restart of the season and what it will be, mm -hmm. it will be like when it eventually starts off. Would you want to give us any updates? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Um, you um, mentioned earlier on that um, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver had a teleconference with members of the National Basketball and Players Association. And some of the things they spoke about, um, I'll try to make them clear very quickly. Um, number one, Adam Silver stressed that any attempts to restart the league now would be a huge risk. As long as the virus is still out there, as long as people are still carrying the virus, as long as there is no vaccine um, uh, already manufactured for the virus. And they painted possible scenarios um, under which the league can resume and the effect it will have. The basic agreement everyone has is the fact that even if the league restarts, there will be no fans in the arena. And I think that makes um, a lot of sense. So a lot of time has been lost. By now, we should be approaching the finals, right? But the regular season has not even been concluded. So if the league has to restart, then it means they'll be looking ahead to completing most of regular season games. If it delays further, then some regular season games will be um, cancelled. And so the focus will now be on the playoff games, in which case, if there's a cancellation to the um, rest of the season, they'll just be focusing on the top 16 teams. That's eight teams in each conference in the East and in the West to um, take part in the um, playoffs. And speaking about the playoffs, if it continues to delay, um, there might be an alteration into how the playoffs will be prosecuted. You know, right now, um, playoff series are 
a best of seven series, okay? But there's a possibility that the playoff series will be shortened, especially in the earlier rounds of the playoffs. And so you might have something like the best of five series. And even there's a possibility of a best of three series, meaning playoff games will be shorter and uh, you know, the entire postseason will be expedited very um, quickly. Uh, there's also uh, talk about um, how uh, other personnel, because, you know, it's not just going to be guys that will be playing, there will be television coverage. That's part of the money-making, um, you know, arm of, of, of running sports. These networks would have to provide guys. How are we going to be able to ensure that everyone is going to be um, completely um clear of the coronavirus yeah. also you have to realize that this will now involve purchasing a lot of testing kits because now players would have to be tested very often very um, often periodically from time to time uh, during the course um, of the season so those are things they're looking at another thing they're looking at is perhaps games will be played in just one venue, right? Okay. A city will be selected where it looks like the pandemic is not as bad as it is in other places and all the teams will gather there and all the games will be played in perhaps one or two or three arenas within the same city. Everybody will be kept under closed monitoring. So these are right. the little things they are looking at, but I'm saying we made it clear. Any attempt to restart the league right now will constitute a huge risk. And it's seeming to me as though if there's an agreement between the league office and the players' association and the players are coming together to say, you know what, let's just go out there. Life is a risk anyway. We still want, we still want to go out there and play and you know give our fans something to enjoy from their homes. Then there's a likelihood that starting from June, we might have NBA games back on our screens. All right, thank you uh, for speaking with us uh, today on the show at Onobulu Ayotunde. Thank you very much for having me, bro. Yeah, there's still a whole lot to talk about in the world of the NBA, but I'm sure another time we'll have you to get to give us some analysis on those Not stories. A